My name is LaShawn Thomas. I'm an illustrator and animator currently living in uh, Seoul, South Korea. I've been here for a year and a half, uh, and uh, it's been a pretty uh, liberating experience, an eye-opening experience, and um, I'm learning a lot. A show with great storyboards and poor layout, in my opinion, will never look better than a show with poor boards and wonderful layout. That's the power of layout and animation. Well, I like this layout, though. We'll do nine as a cell style. We're gonna have to do an extra layer. This is a layer. This is a layer, but we're gonna, the camera team's gonna do color effects on this so that we can do the reflection, right? So, I guess we can just fix it. I mean, we're going to have to, I mean, this is going to be difficult, right? Yeah. Trying to, you know, trying to line this up um, when we get rid of the overlay. Yeah, he looks pretty cool dead. I like the hair streak coming in here. Clean up is good, though. Clean up is great. Yeah, I think I can have, uh, I can have Fabian do a, a cool filter effect on this too, so. Alright. Layouts are the art of placing the moving storytelling images within the actual frame that we see on TV so that they can unfold before us in real time. Um, they're basically giving life to everything the viewer sees on TV that's moving or not moving. Um, so the characters, the backgrounds, props, staging, effects, and so on. So a layout artist's job primarily is handling the story, the frame, and the light in the shot. Layout can really make or break the quality of an animated show. What, what do you think Noir would do? What do you think? Camera, color? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is for one episode, right? Nine million? Oh, yeah, yeah. Particularly in TV animation production, um, a lot of new cats, they, they're led to believe that storyboards are actually uh, what dictate the quality of an animated, animated show. And I think that's a huge, huge misconception. Um, storyboards, while they're important for obvious reasons, um, storyboards are merely just about visual beats and pacing uh, for the overall story. Layouts are actually the blueprints of animation. A good way for me to break it down would be uh, a layout artist in 2D animation is equal to that of uh, both the cameraman and the actor in live action. Um, obviously combining these two people in reality is impossible, but in, in 2D animation that's its power and that's how vital you know the responsibility of a layout artist is. One of the most important and, and the most difficult jobs to do in, in animation because you have to have a huge level of draftsmanship and skills to be able to translate the storyboards, whether they're crap or good, if they send out you know stick figures boards with no VGs and no placement, it's up to the layout artists to use their skills to put those drawings on model to bring that show to the level of quality so that the animators can come in and do their job. And that's a part of the process that we don't get to see back home and it's a huge, huge responsibility. Um, something we need to know more of at the pre-production stage. 
So when we started animation production, we started at uh, Moa Animation Studios in Seoul. Oh, Wonder Woman, of course. DTV, DC. Oh, DC Comics, I like it. Yeah. Spider Man. DTV, DC. Oh, Dora. Dora. Oh, Dora the Explorer. Yeah. Hmm. Just oh, DC Justice League. Justice League. Yeah. They worked on many, many great TV shows. The Avatar, Last Airbender. All vs. Wolverine, that was pretty cool. Batman Brave and Bold, I storyboarded on that show. It's a technical director. Nyozeo. Nyozeo. Master Chain song. <laughs> Long time no see. One of these t-shirts. I want. Well, Ore Mar Ore Mar. 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 Ore you like them? Yeah. You like something? No, it's true. That's, he, 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 he means it. Very good at something. Oh. No, he likes them too. Let's try and just say 사랑해요. 사랑해요? 사랑해요. I like it. 사랑해요. That means I love you. I love you. Oh, that's too much. He's trying to get me in trouble. Eighth floor, we have a camera. Oh, I see. It can be and fifths. In between. Between rooms. So you're gonna have everything all in the same place because the last building you have in between buildings separate from the one roof. The still. We broke the production down into three stages, um, key animation, in between, and cleanup. Um, his style reminds me a little bit of uh, Uyama Tetsuro, uh, the manga artist of a uh, comic book in Japan that I enjoy called uh, Solar Vision Mitsuyoshi. Uh, he draws a lot of, you know, uh, sharp angles and big hips on his women. Um, he also got a little bit of Yoshiyuki Sadamoto, classic uh, Gainax style. Uh, into his work, which is really cool, and he's got a little bit of a Yoshihiko uh, Umakoshi, who's the uh, character designer for a popular Street Fighter Alpha anime that came out in 2000. He was also the animation director for an uh, anime remake called Soul Bianca, The Legacy, which was released sometime in 2000. Uh, that was actually one of my favorite OVAs, and it really shows a display of his range of animation styles. Um, as for key animation, uh, his style is very kinetic and dynamic, but he also has a sound understanding of anatomy and gesture, um, which makes his stuff stylized but still feel grounded. So as a key animator, his job is to basically lay down the key poses or key drawings first. Timing is also defined here as well, since we use exposure sheets to track each frame. After the key animation is approved at the rough stage, then it's also moved forward for cleanup. The 
the next stage, uh, the in-betweens, you know, are the drawings that go in between the key animation frames. This process is necessary so that the overall animation looks smoother and the animation looks better. Um, that job is handled by Hyun Na, uh, who's our in-between uh, supervisor. Uh, and it's a really, really hardcore job. It's a lot of hard work, um, but it's also very, very important to the overall quality of movement for key animation. It's been about four years um, since I decided to leave my home and step outside of my comfort zone and, and plant myself in this country and culture of South Korea and the city of Seoul. Um, that for the most part is, you know, from at least from an animation production perspective, has been sort of a, a mystery to viewers and students alike, um, as, as well as aspiring artists and um, even some working professionals in America and Hollywood and other places. Um, my, my trip here has been uh, extremely overwhelming. I've met so many incredible talents, I've gained so many friends and partnerships and relationships, and I've grown a lot more. Uh, and most importantly, I learned a great deal about myself and how I deal with things like fear um, and, 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 and overcoming certain comforts. Um, I want to thank those who've been watching uh, this little video series for as long as you have, and, and and I hope you know some of you out there learned a little bit more about uh, what happens here in South Korea, uh, as far as animation production goes, as well as the process of what goes into making a 2D animation uh, production for TV in South Korea. Um, this country is filled with so many amazing, talented individuals and with skills that are so so breathtaking, and 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 those people are behind some of our favorite shows on on television and i hope this series uh, of videos shed a little bit of light on that fact however big or small or scale um and at the very least you know you've been motivated to pick up a pencil or a wacom tablet and draw maybe even go out on your own journeys and chase your dreams and create something you love um on behalf of soul sessions and uh my peoples at creative control tv in new york city this is LaShawn thomas saying goodbye for now, or as my hyungs would say, 안녕하세요.